This Notion daily time tracker allows the time block on a daily basis so that you can focus on the most important activities for you and operate in a maker's schedule rather than a hyperactive hive mind schedule. So it's meant to be a proactive approach to time blocking in order to be in charge of how you spend your time and the most important activities that you practice on a daily basis. There are two key components to the system. The first one is a template button, the new daily time tracker. The second one is the archive gallery page, where at the end of each day, we can drag and drop the daily entry here to the archive. And the archive would allow us to resurface our daily activities done. Now, let's say that I want to track my time today. And this is what I will do. I will simply click on the new daily time tracker template button. And here is what it outputs. First off, we have the day here, which is a title. It's dynamic and it shows today because it's today, it's been created today. But then once we drag it to the archive, it will show the date. And then there is a call out block that's composed of first a question mentioning you and asking you a key question. What is the one thing you intend to focus on today? And you can write down that one thing here as a heading tree. You do that, you have a simple notion table and that's the newest feature of the tool. And the difference between a simple Notion table and the database in Notion is that, well, as the names suggest, that's a simple table, which means we don't have pages as entries, but rather simple cells composed of text in our case. So the first column is time. And here there are times in one hour increments. On the activities column, you can write down what you are working on at any given time. And the power here is that you can also link to the tasks that you're working on at any given time from here by typing at and mentioning the page. Go down the list, adjusting your activities, and you can also format the text by making it bold, italic. You can highlight the text in whatever type of formatting you would like to do. And so this is your central hub to keep track of your time and be in charge of it rather than reactively respond to external inputs. Now, at the end of the day, once this table is filled out and you don't need it anymore, you can just select everything here, drag and drop, and then move everything to the archive page. And when you open the archive, you can use this as a weekly reflection tool to see a history of, your, of all your days and activities performed at any given time. So this system doesn't use databases intentionally because it focuses on simplicity of inputting data rather than on trying to do calculations and data input that might become cumbersome in databases. So we go back to the simple things with a simple table to get back in charge of what's essential in our life, as author Brett McEwen would probably put it. Thank you for watching and see you soon.